Greetings, sane people that totally watch me, and welcome to another gut-wrenching, undoubtedly painful episode of Hoi 4 Formables A to Z. And today's episode is actually quite promising. We're forming Estonia Belarus. <sighs> and I actually did see a comment a few months ago, I think, that said he's gonna have to play each of the Baltic countries like communist Belarus thing. And I'm like, oh, he's shitting me, right? It's a joke. No, there's Estonia Belarus, Latvia Belarus, and also Lithuania Belarus. What the fuck? So since I just really don't want to make what is essentially the same video three times for the sake of my mental health and yours as well, I'm just gonna do them all in one video. Or at least I'll try. I'll try to do three countries in one video. Man, the fact that I'm even just playing Estonia two videos in a row should be considered a human rights violation. Alright, I guess let's restore the workers, Republic. <laughs> I love it when there is no private property in my country. That That's epic. Why does the word vap sound like a slur like if you went out in the street and called someone a vap they would probably like kick your head in all right i guess germany's staying nazi that's a bit annoying but well we'll beat them i think Ugh, catholic opposite oh no man we don't even have that much population to begin with. We have a core population of 1 million. Now we have Catholic opposition. Oh, that's amazing. I think I got this when I tried the communist path with Latvia as well. What's wrong with the Baltics, man? I don't know if I should seek supports from the Soviets or enter opposition. I remember last time I seek support from the Soviets, I got some comments saying, why did you choose that one? So you know what? We're going to enter opposition. All right, we've entered opposition. What does that do again? Uh, So the Soviets really don't like us anymore, but we get pretty good buffs. So that's pretty good all right we can either do secure military support which will give us a bigger share of the army when the civil war starts i like how it's when the civil war starts not if the civil war starts it's when so i guess we'll do that since i'm not that great at the game i'm gonna need every troop i can have now let's do concession for catholics that's gonna make the soviets hate us even more i don't think they're gonna be that mad at us when like next year we start like sucking their dick because i think that's what we're gonna need to do to form estonia belarus right, i guess next we'll just overthrow isamalit and this focus actually gets rid of low vaps tension which is pretty good all right well the civil war has started uh we should be able to win this i guess we'll just pin this unit down and then just march through the rest of estonia and right, next let's seize the means of production which is like something every communist nation should strive to do when they become communist i don't make the rules that's just how it is if you become communist and you haven't seized the means of production have you really become communist one day we'll push through one day. Alright, we've seized the means of production, which basically just means we got one more civilian factory. You will gain civilian factories based on the number of focuses you have completed in the Allied or Axis investment. Oh, huh. Uh, I probably could have taken way more advantage of that. Whoops. Alright, let's do a revolutionary cabinet next. Come on, please, please, let's take it. Nice. All right, I think, I think they're dead. I guess they have Tartu. Let's do the Estonia Belarus SSR now. Tartu is the only thing stopping us from destroying the bourgeoisie forever. In Estonia, at least. I don't know for the rest of the world. I heard there's like a a, a country here that's not that's not too big of a fan of communism. Sa same for these guys. I, I heard I heard uh, the, the, this guy. He doesn't he doesn't like communism that much. Don't, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. All right, Tartu is dead. We have defeated Estonia. Popular resistance, eh? Well, Oh, <laughs> we have a few places to send these people. I've completed the focus, but I don't but I don't really know what happened. We're not the Estonia Belarus SSR and the bourgeoisie dictatorships, sure. Can I join Comintern by the way? No. The Soviet Union has strategic reasons not to ally. Okay, that's kinda dick move. Okay. Well fuck you too. I guess I'll take out Man, my army's super bad. <laughs> Holy shit. I may get these like war goals, but I don't think I'll be able to defeat my neighbors. Ah, there's a civil war. Interesting. I might have to take advantage of that. If the fascists win and they join the Axis, I'm ending my life. Oh, so this is what it does. The Belarusian people are being torn asunder. Half of the nation wishing to remain as part of the Soviet Union and the other half wishing to defect to the Baltics. Oh, so they'll start a war in 143 days? They're literally just gonna die. Okay, well, I guess that's fate. All right, well, I guess I'll kill Latvia because they're weakened right now. I guess I'll try to take all of their victory points in one fell swoop here. All right, well, I've done it. Damn, Thundercross Latvia gets everything. Which makes sense. 
Don't get me wrong, but man, that's disappointing. Right, I guess we'll do a United Baltic SSR. I mean, this is very pathetic United Baltic SSR so far. Excuse me? 40% less output? Oh, it's the Forest Brothers again. All right, I'll justify on Thundercross Lab VI, I guess. 240 days. What? Oh, it's because I completed the... I don't think this is a unified Baltics at all. I think this is the least unified Baltics I've ever seen in my life. Contest control in... Even if they choose my side, they're gonna die for sure whatever there's really no point i don't think i don't know what's happening in belarus but nothing is starting up like i don't the, the event's not even there anymore was i supposed to complete all of them or something probably well i'll keep that in mind when i play lithuania or latvia and look at that we got new units from the focus now we should maybe stand a bit more of a chance against latvia we'll see next i want to get rid of the forest brothers so we're gonna do a purge of our own okay our justification is complete however i think this is gonna be a very tough war well no time like the present We've captured Riga already, so a good start to the war. Then we'll take the rest of Latvia. We'll rob them blind. Alright, let's kill the Force Brothers off once and for all. They've caused me nothing but torment every time they exist. Alright, Thundercross Latvia is dead. Estonian Latvia. Wouldn't it be Baltic Latvia? But I'm so confused. How do I form the Estonia Belarus? Oh, I can do it again. So do I just keep clicking these things? These funny little buttons? I guess we'll kill Lithuanian Cold Blood as well. Alright, Lithuania's also dead. Let's puppet them. Actually, didn't we have cores on all of the Baltics? We should have probably... Mm. I, I still don't know why they hate me so much. I know I picked, like, two focuses that make them absolutely despise me. But, like, just forget about it. I guess we'll also renew allied trade. Because it gives us less consumer goods factories. Man, too bad, too. If the Soviet Union let, like, Poland and us enter we might be able to beat germany like low-key like with the allies coming in from the west as well but no stalin's being a little bitch the soviet union is influencing our politics but i'm already communist now even a number of our politicians and other officials are being swayed by the soviet propaganda yeah it's probably not that hard when they're already hardline communists i imagine it's pretty easy to be swayed by okay we might be fucked yeah okay i <laughs> Huh, I was not paying attention to the Britain lore this game. Estonia, Lithuania rejects Germany. You have balls of steel. Oh, am I about to lose a puppet? Oh, wait, I, oh yeah, I'm in the war. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I guess props to Estonia, Lithuania, but they may have just killed us. I guess we'll quickly take this pocket here before Germans flood in. I realize I'm so fucked. The British are gonna naval invade the fuck out of me. It's not even funny how much they're gonna naval invade. Konigsberg should be good. We have kicked them out. They hate us even more now. It was like minus 299. Now minus 330 what is your problem with me bro there's literally no strategic reasons for them to be hostile at me literally none okay well i i think estonia belarus video has ended the game will end for you thank you for telling me paradox i didn't know that all right well i guess we're gonna die so uh probably should have taken the soviet help we'll make one last stand i guess we refused but how long until they decide to completely fucking destroy us i wonder let's improve relations with them maybe they'll forgive us all right well uh try to defend boys oh Invite to faction from France. Yeah, sure. Honestly? Because why not at this point? I'm fucked anyway. Oh, great. Now the British naval invaded. This is an unwinnable war. Damn, France already naval invading Poland and failing miserably. All right, we're fucked. Well, that was a good game. But I think our time as Estonia, what, Belarus is done. Literally, the Soviets hated us for little to no reason. And then we died. So this time after doing Restore the Workers Republic, we're actually going to seek support from the Soviets or else we're just going to die again. All right, so this time we'll seek support from the Mustache Man. All right, I guess I'll do Soviet Volunteer Forces so that I actually have troops during the war. Now let's gain generals and then I'm going to start off the Civil War after this. All right, let's overthrow Issa Malit again. I like how they still like kind of hate us even though we took their goddamn path. Something tells me Stalin, he just doesn't like me. I don't know. I don't like him either. Yeah, you know what? I'll say it. Not a big fan of Joseph Stalin. Like, unpopular opinion, I know, but like, you know, that's just how I feel. All right, in a civil war we are now. Oh, we don't have any cavalry, so we won't be...
be able to do some sick reddit encirclements unfortunate next i guess we can ask for soviet intervention i think we can win this hopefully but let's just walk into vor here sick encirclement as always on the hollow being youtube channel all right yeah we won without the soviets help okay and we're actually in the common turn now that's good and now we only have one troop fantastic i i'm thrilled to hear that effects if they accept let's pray to god they do because or else i'm gonna not be happy oh yeah the force brothers i completely fucking forgot about them and i wish like they would just disappear from real life like they did in my mind factory output minus 40 a, a classic a classic there's many classics in hoi four there's strikes that's a really good one mutinies and then force brothers factory event those are my favorite things to happen in this game you should see how much i'm smiling right now it's ear to ear all right will they accept will they accept yeah Yes, they do. Perfect. That's a cool color, actually. It's like a better color than the Soviet Union. That's pretty cool. Now we have like seven times our core population, so that's pretty good, actually. Now we just have to somehow become independent. All right, we have declared war on both Lithuania and Latvia. We'll try to gain cores on all the lands. All right, Latvia is dead. And it would be very swell if they gave me this territory. And Thundercross Lat- That war was for nothing. Oh, okay, we'll be able to take the same things we took last round. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back in a save here. And the reason I went back in the save is because I want this civil war to end. And so we can declare war on Thundercross Latvia, who's probably gonna win the civil war. And then we can uh, kill both Latvia and Lithuania, and then I can get all the land. I'm a greedy motherfucker. Maybe not the second part, but I am greedy. And we have a lot of focus this is what you can do while waiting for this war to end so that's no problem we can for instance get rid of the goddamn forest brothers yeah latvian civil war should be done very soon and then we'll immediately kill them they will have fought this revolution for nothing they will immediately just submit to our fold all right so oh fuck they immediately joined the axis that did not happen last time right all right let's request an invasion of lithuania and latvia and see what happens okay i requested the invasion now and now we are at war okay now we're probably at war with the axis most definitely let's see how we fare they're pushing oh fuck we're getting actually hold on czechoslovakia joined common turn interesting okay i'm gonna make some estonian red riflemen because damn they're pushing us trans joined common jesus christ that's a very interesting common turn all right now let's seize the means of production that's a lot of shit i guess i'll start making planes since the soviets aren't really keen on making them apparently for some reason even though they're a fucking major power in the world oh never mind they did put planes here is that it's clearly not working that's a great invasion stalin that's that's amazing wait hold on did he actually cook imagine they take riga then i can send my entire army there wow that just happened okay sure men new target and look at that an encirclement so let's march to kaunas i guess who's gonna stop us now pushing through rivers is like the worst thing you could ever attempt in holy four but that's what we're gonna do the anglo-german alliance i'm probably just gonna get naval invaded and die but we'll see all right let's carry the revolution west because i do want to free the workers of poland even though they're already communists but i do really want to do this just to see if poland would actually join the axis there's no way there's no shot they, they joined the axis if communist poland joins the axis because the soviet union attacked them i would actually lose my mind i wouldn't even be mad i'd just be way too surprised oh france made their own alliance they ditched the soviet union for the fucking balkans are you fucking crazy and they're about to die good job friends well that's gonna take a lot of pressure off germany that's unfortunate for the sake of us not throwing i am gonna try to I can't defend France. Okay. Kingdom of Romania joined the Axis. That's not good. That's a lot of pressure mounting on the Soviet Union. Afghanistan joined the Axis. Holy shit. What is happening? Yeah, war against Poland is really not a good idea right now. Let's build up our industry a bit. All right, well, Czechoslovakia is about to die, so better retreat. Let's see if we can retreat in time. Definitely not. I don't. I think this corridor is going to be dead. Wow, that's all of our army dying. Just as planned. All right, well, we did four bit. Once we capitulate, I guess we're moving on to Latvia, Belarus. And just to see what would happen. What would happen if we did free the workers of Poland? For, just for gits and shiggles. Italian call for aid. Bro, I'm the one who needs aid. Not a concern for Estonian people. All right, we declared war on Poland. Uh, so union didn't so we're fucked okay so we've capitulated now so yeah i think we're gonna leave it at this for estonia belarus let's move on to latvia belarus now it's probably not gonna be much better i'll tell you that but 
All right, <laughs> look at that, the same exact branch. Oh, I guess we're gonna restore the workers' republic. Woo. Riveting, I love restoring the workers' republic for the third time. Now, we just have to hope that none of our neighbors go fascist or communist because then we can't annex them. All right, Germany's going Nazi again. Interesting, all right. I mean, if we enter opposition, we know what happens. I guess we'll see. We'll become a puppet again. <laughs> Yeah, I love Baltic paths of communism. Let's overthrow Tautas Padome. Alright, war time. I love war. I'm gonna use my fantastic microing to try to end this war as fast as possible. I do not wish for this to drag on. These nuts. <laughs> Damn, they have a lot of people. What the fuck? They have more troops than I thought they would. We have two fighters though. All right, let's capture. Let's capture Lia Paja. Probably not Paja. I probably pissed off all two Latvian people who watch my channel. All right, well that was a quick, concise war. We are now a puppet of the USSR, as God intended. Well, probably not because there's because we still have Catholic opposition. As God didn't intend. Wow, we lost our entire army. And look who's back again. You 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 have no idea how happy I am to always see the Forest Brothers. What nice people they are. For the sake of not losing my fucking mind again, I'm gonna try to squash all resistance as soon as possible. Just destroy the Forest Brothers completely. We're gonna break all their legs. Hey, good luck walking to the factory to fucking sabotage them when we, you have no more legs. Kind of hard, right? Huh? And spit on them. Alright, we got rid of the forest brothers, so let's create more units. Ha ha ha. Actually, I'm gonna go take a piss real quick. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Uh, that that trip to the bathroom kind of turned into like a drink of water. That drink of water kind of turned into a midnight snack. And yeah, it took like uh, 30, 40 minutes to get back. I think it's also my subconscious wanting me not to play this. But what do I know about that brain stuff? If I knew about that brain stuff, I probably wouldn't be making videos like this. Why are so many people involved in the Treaty of Addis Ababa? What the fuck? Croatia? All right, now that we got like a bit more units, I mean, it's still a very shit army, don't get me wrong. Now that we have a shitty army, now I think it's time to do the Latvia Belarus SSR. Okay, Soviet Civil War. That's probably not that good for us. Okay, so now we own Belarus, so that's good. It says here, create faction requests from the Soviet Union. If Stalin loses, I think we become free, which that's cool. I, I, I like being free. Okay, now that I've fielded a bit of an army, we might be able to take both of them out at the same time and we only have two generals we don't have any field marshals fantastic as expected of latvia they're already at moscow it's over all right let's end the bourgeoisie dictatorship shall we since i'm very good at the game i should be able to take both of these nations out quite easily all right now we are at war with our neighbors yeah soviet union's dead and now we are free and when trotsky here decides to make a faction we'll join it and once again they hate us oh we have belarus that's probably why all right, Lithuania is dead. All right, Estonia is dead also. Now, unfortunately, now we're the Baltic Socialist Republic. We're not Latvia, Belarus anymore, but it, it is what it is. Oh, I can join the faction now, actually. The Fourth International. Okay, if we can get a war goal on Poland immediately, we can kill them. Now we just have to hope that Poland doesn't join the Fourth International for a while. I'm praying. Okay, okay, okay. We rushed 70 days, 70 days. All right, we're killing Poland. Is this deserved? No, not at all. Is this funny as fuck? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. All right, now we call our father in. This is like you fighting your brother, and then you call your father to bring in the belt and just clobber him. Now let's try to end this war before Germany gets involved. Everything becomes worse when Germany becomes involved, I tell you. There we go. Oh, we actually have a core on these, and that's why they're so cheap. Interesting. Okay. Wow, look at that. We have some... <laughs> Good old Soviet border gore. The purple one is my puppet. Uh, the pink one is their puppet. And they kept the same leader, I think. We have this knockoff. Dad, can we have Vladislav Gomulka? No, son. We have Vladislav Gomulka at home. And there's a Ukrainian independent SSR, which is clearly not independent. I don't know what he's talking about. But yeah, we're a pretty big country right now. Of course, nothing compared to like the major powers, but... 
They took everything that- They took my puppet. What the fuck, Germany? I didn't agree to this. You guys may have agreed. I didn't agree to this shit. I'm speechless. I- My child, you, you killed him. Okay, next I guess we'll do a Finnish invasion. Killing Finland easily and swiftly is a very doable thing. I hope Germany doesn't attack us. I hope they honor the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. I really hope he obeys the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. I, I know he likes to troll, but enough is enough. All right, well, Paris. Oh, wow. Jesus, that was quick. Damn. What? I sure? I guess. That's kind of annoying. By destroying Finland, I will stop Clash of Clans from ever being made. I'm a hero. Very concerning how we can't take this pro- oh, There we go. What? Wait, wait. What the fuck? Bro! <laughs> What? Oh, that's so bullshit. Sweden, you piece of shit. That is so bullshit. Oh my god. I mean, there is no more Denmark, so I think this is gonna be bypassed, right? Really? You're gonna make me wait? Okay. Oh, wait, Denmark's back. What the fuck? Is it because, like, Sweden rebirthed these countries? That is so annoying. I guess we'll have to go to war with all of Scandinavia then. All right, time to go to war with Finland again. Gear up, boys. We're fighting them for a second time. If Sweden pulls some fucking anime plot armor bullshit again, I'm gonna lose it. Hold on. It would be more efficient to just strike at the heart, right? Just naval invade Stockholm. Of course they did. Oh, we have no naval supremacy whatsoever. I guess we'll push in the tried and true way through the entirety of fucking Finland. I love it when everyone you're at war with are the people who have all the rubber in the universe. That is amazing. Finland is dead. What? What? Alright, well, Stockholm's open, so, well, it's ours now. Oh, right, never mind, Japanese. Did you see that? Did I just see Japanese troops defend Stockholm? Maybe I was just hallucinating. I hope I was. Okay, let's walk into Stockholm. Now Malmö is the capital. Let's just go there. I don't care about organization. I don't care if we get encircled. I just want to get there. I just want to kill Sweden off. There we go. Why isn't the war over then? Hold on. The Dutch East Indies is a major. I get Japan, but the Dutch East Indies. That's so, that's such cope. That's such big cope. Literally can't even naval invade the UK. I really want their fleet to invade Japan because we need to capitulate them now for some reason. We will wait until something happens and we get 50% naval supremacy. It will happen. What What is happening to this alliance? Are you just letting anyone in? We'll let like basically what is essentially the empire of Japan and we'll let uh, the Ottoman Empire into the democratic faction. That's so stupid. I mean, I, al I also always abuse that mechanic, but shut up. It's only, it's only good when I do it. What happened here? Why are they at war with the allies? What? What is this war? No, I, actually, what is this war? All right, I've come to the conclusion that this naval invasion will just never launch. I don't really know what, how to approach this. What if I ask for military access from Mr. Hitler here? Now let's try to do a naval invasion from here. Hey, our fleet is way too shit. Oh, wait, it worked. Holy shit, I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, perfect. All right, the UK is dead. And unfortunately, the United States has way more, even though they were just fighting Canada. I actually ended the war. Why, why do I always get cucked in these peace deals, man? All right, peace deal is over. The United States literally hogged all of India just to do fucking jack all with it you are a joke well at least i have the socialist republic of great britain i don't know why belgium owns this one tile but we'll take it back oh look at that the nordic defense council is also dead latvian finland and svenska demokratiska republiken which is my puppet and the rest of the nordic defense council is the soviet puppet all right next we invade japan <laughs> oh nice that's good for us wales declared war oh wait that's our puppet wait i don't want that to happen all right, i have an army here so i guess i'll take out the welsh i don't know what they're even trying to be honest well, that was quick peaceful reunification of the united kingdom no i i murdered them all that was not peaceful i literally murdered the welsh uh we actually have naval supremacy so let's get 10 of our finest divisions to invade the land of the rising sun the commonwealth of alba isn't that scotland why does that exist oh another independence war that's why okay well we're gonna quell that what the fuck is happening in the uk do they not like being under the latvians that much it's kind of racist this is pure and simply racism against Latvian people. I don't know what to tell you. All right, now I'm just gonna pray to God that their homeland is undefended. 
which it usually is yes perfect all right let's tank all the way to tokyo all right yeah japan is done japan is finito all right, i kind of fucked up here but those are acceptable casualties oh look it's the commune in the north of ireland with the big dipper as the flag get it because it's like then in the north japan is dead why isn't the faction dead oh is it indonesia is it oh my god it's indonesia haha <laughs> that's gonna be fun to invade you can undoubtedly hear it in my voice how excited i sound to invade indonesia do i even have a naval invasion base to invade them from oh my the closest one is here all right well, well i'll try this is gonna be an amazing naval invasion to pull off oh my god i can just imagine how fun it'd be on that boat god if the japanese sink my entire fleet while well, transit here i will have an aneurysm the fleet that i worked so hard to steal okay if japan was undefended though indonesia is definitely undefended ain't no way ain't no way i'm wrong oh the british are trying oh my god they actually have shit garrison Let's see if they can capture a port oh <laughs> america you don't want to do this you don't want to do this i am that's not a threat that's not a threat that's not a threat i just don't want to die mr wendell wilkie okay with all due respect to my you know my british child i'm gonna pull off a much better naval invasion i don't know why only five launched but it is what it is it's gonna work all right well it didn't really but we'll just grab this port and then it will have been a success shit i should probably build stuff in them yo uh britain take all of this infrastructure that i'm building in your country uh for reasons that if i tell you you will be offended so we'll, we'll just leave it at that how about that I i'm giving you free building i right, changed china capitulated england england what england what <laughs> This world, oh, um, what, what happened? Are they in the fourth international? Because if they are, we are fucked. Thank God. Yeah, die alone, Spain. All right, we've taken Batavia, but they still have not capitulated. What else do you own? All right, once we finish this naval invasion, take Makassar. It should really be over. It should really be over. I forgot if we're in another war, but I'm not going to check for the sake of my mental health. All right, I guess we have to go to Balik Papan. All right, once they land, it should really be over. Why isn't it really over? Do I... Do I need to march more and then something will be revealed to me? It's like a treasure. I have to explore a bit. It's going to be like the true Indonesia capitulation was the friends we made along the way or something. Am I losing my mind? Am I losing my marbles at 3 a.m. again? Like always, every time I record an episode of this. Oh, it's over. Holy shit. And I only get 19% for all I did. I feel so offended. Each every time, time when I, I come, come here. here I am, I am abused. abused. That's literally me. I am Jacob Zuma. Are you telling me the USSR is going to take away? It should rightfully be mine, but sure. Okay, well, it shouldn't be rightfully mine, but you know, you know what I mean. Jesus, I don't have to explain myself. All right, so... Fuck. Well, that, that's bad news. Who has more factory? Oh, oh, it's not even close. Are they also at war? No, they're not at war with the Americans. Ah, that's tough. Well, it was a good game, guys. <laughs> Look, look at that. It was a good game. We got the Latvian East Indies, Latvian Japan, Germany breaks. Wow. Uh, who could have seen that one coming? I'm telling you to go to this front. Where are you going? Go to the front line, bro. I can't stop this guy. You're wasting fuel. Let's see how this would go. All right, well, our entire fleet was sunk. Ugh, we lost to the fucking Kriegsmarine. A fate worse than death. Well, as we slowly die from German troops that <laughs> outnumber us by like 10 billion, uh, I'd just like to say it was in honor Trotsky. And maybe get ready to fight the fucking Axis next time. You had so many years to prepare. You know what? Let's force attack. Let's make a comeback of the century. Sevastopol may have fallen, but our troops haven't. You know who said that? Field Marshal Jukums Vasietis, his most famous quote. We had a pretty good run. We had a pretty we had a pretty global empire, but unfortunately, the twilight has come for Latvia Belarus. You know what? It's not worth it anymore, guys. Let's let's all hang out in Tallinn for one last drink. Let's all go to the bar. Frontline there is no more front line. Everyone, let's just go to the bar, sing a few songs before our imminent deaths. It's over. What a what a sad day, isn't it? What a what what a terrible day for rain. Look at that, oh, all red. That's actually impressive. Anyways, I'll be back tomorrow for Lithuania Belarus. We we ended this one on a very tragic note. Hopefully, Lithuania Belarus will be a bit more cheerful. I highly doubt it though. All right.
Alright, so I'm back the next day. Uh, I'm quite refreshed, and this time, hopefully, <laughs> we won't get fucking annihilated as Lithuania. It says a reminder of the true enemy, but unfortunately, we will have to be allying with them. Alright, time to do the same focus tree for, for what is this, the fourth time? It's, it's literally the exact same, man. Alright, let's restore the Worker's Republic. <laughs> That's gonna become one of my, my iconic quotes, along with, oh god, these are such shit units as well. They are pretty experienced, though, so that's cool, I guess. Uh, we do have a field marshal. We're probably gonna lose it during the communist revolution, but he exists. All right, Germany's going Nazi again. Am I just fated to always fight Nazi Germany whenever I try to go communist? Does the game hate me that much? All right, well, we're seeking the supports of the Soviet. <laughs> we somehow need to kill Germany before they become too powerful. We basically need to ensure that France doesn't immediately die to them. All right, let's overthrow Lietu view. Tau Tautini Ninku Sajunga. Sure. God, the, the Baltic people are gonna love this video. If there's people watching this from the Baltic, so they'll let me know in the comments. They, they always do. I, I do appreciate the energy. All right, civil war has started. Let's try to win this. Oh, they actually have divisions. That's kind of annoying. A country actually has divisions? Fuck. Damn it. All right, we've taken Memo. We are now, what is it? The Lithuanian independent ssr which may seem like a shit situation for us but it's actually a garbage situation for us okay poland is having a little people's republic civil war thing all right the soviet union agrees they better and now we're to lithuania belarus ssr well we've completed all the formables for ep this episode so uh i'll leave it off here guys uh i hope you had a good one uh and uh see ya i wish I, I really wish. But no, I, I have a part of me in the back of my small brain that wants to win. That wants to make the whole world red. I should see. Is Japan having a democratic revolution? Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck. I heavily doubt they're going to win, but... Okay. Well, Soviet Union is having a civil war now. Well, you pretty much know that, like, Trotsky always wins. So I guess I can do my economic focuses. And of course, Poland's going communist again. Why are we always getting inconvenienced? That said, Yosef Stalin will surely triumph. I, I doubt it. I've played this game too many times to know that that's the, the biggest cap I've ever heard in my life. The Soviet, no, you're going to lose, brother. And me, let's just sign a non-aggression with them. When we can join the fourth international, we'll try. And now that the Soviets are back in action, let's start to kill our neighbors here. Let's murder our brothers in arm. In arms. <laughs> in arm. Our brother in arm. Latvia's dead. I mean, we'll have cores on them soon enough, so I'll just capture everything. Let's kill Estonia as well now. Alright, we have done the United Baltic SSR for the fourth time in this video. Alright, well, that should be a lot of core that we have. Alright, let's join the fourth international now. Means we're gonna need their help for <laughs> the second invasion of Poland in this video. Okay, so I would do free to workers of Poland, but they are kind of occupied at the moment. So I might just politely wait because I do not want to share with Senationist Poland. Sharing is not caring, I don't think so. Actually, maybe I'll request a Finnish invasion. That'd be kind of funny, right? It's just a little warm-up war. The Polish Senation government... Oh no, that's not good. That is not good at all. Yeah, I'll give them memo, whatever, man. Like two people live there. And France is having a communist revolution. Okay. All right, the Finnish invasion we've requested should be on at any time now. Fuck. Oh, it's because they were guaranteeing. Guess we're fighting the British now. And depending on how this war goes, we might be able to get a good naval invasion on the UK. I should probably assign some troops to guard the ports here. I'll trade with the United States because I don't think the UK is a big fan of us right now. Wait, we're also at war with Sweden now? What? What's happening? Then German Rick declared war on France. Yeah, France is a bit fucked. What? Huh? That's like the last thing Germany would ever let into the Axis. A communist France. Common enemies are common enemies, I suppose. Fair enough. That, that's what I would do in that situation as well. All right, Finland is dead. And the United States declared... Uh, what is this world? Why is it that every time I'm playing these communist Baltic nations, everything is like cursed as fuck? And also, why is there 11 British Raj divisions here? I mean, they're kind of fucked, but yeah, all right. All right, we've taken Stockholm. Oh, thank you, UK. Oh, you're a, you're a darling, aren't you? You motherfucker. Holy shit, now we're at war with the United goddamn states. If Germany declares war on us, it's over. It's, it's over. 
here once again. Perfect. Now Scandinavia is no longer blue. Yeah, we also have War of Canada. And we have no fleet as well. How would we even go about invading the United States this game? Like, like killing the British is first, though. That's like the number one priority right now. Let's ask for military access from France. We're going to try to do a naval invasion. I like how we still have apparently allied investments, even though we're at war with them. They want us dead. All right, we know how to naval invade now. So now let's send our meager fleet there and see how it fares in gaining us an advantage. It just really has to be for one split second. But what? So they had a revolution already. Right? Now they're having another one, a fascist revolution. And the fascist revolution joined the allies. And the communist side is in the axis. My, my brain is kind of struggling to process that, but it's fine. It's fine. Yugoslavia has called the Kingdom of Rome. Okay, what's going on? I'm missing out on a lot of lore here. So these people are on our side because they're at war with the UK. Interesting. Man, this is probably the worst World War II the world has ever seen. If this was real, they wouldn't even bother teaching it in schools because fucking the teenagers just wouldn't understand what's going on. They wouldn't be able to keep up with the lore. Nationalist Spain. Yeah, that makes sense. Finally, something that makes sense this game. Nationalist Spain joins the Axis. That's great. Yeah. All I, all I don't like about this is that they're almost the same color france and spain and also why is the capital in la coruña see i'm not a spanish expert but i know that's the crown i i am a master linguist myself yeah the french commune joins oh they joined us now they left the axis oh germany's not gonna be happy about that one i seize the means of production we are communist after all har 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 greece has become like a german puppet yeah okay they have Waluigi. Okay, Italy collapses. That's like expected at this point that that happens every goddamn game. We lack sufficient intel. We're right next to it. Okay, now it's the problem with naval supremacy. See, that's the problem I'm used to seeing. I can tolerate that. Now we just have to wait, really, until they slip. They will slip eventually. Did I just see United States join? Yes. Wow. What a what an unlikely alliance. Does that mean communist China is going to be at war with us soon? I'm just not going to comment on it anymore. Every time something like that's out of the norm happens, I'm just going to like sit there with like this face. You don't see what I'm doing, but it's like the it's like that one emoji where it's just like a straight line for the mouth like what one like this is a joke right one day it's gonna launch would the north sea trick be better right now i mean it doesn't matter I, i'll try i'll try i shall try the old north sea trick okay this seems a bit more realistic we have 38 percent here we just need to catch them lacking a bit one day we'll get it maybe in a few centuries we'll get the naval supremacy we need Oh, we succeeded. Fuck, when did that happen? I was not paying attention. Hold on, I'm gonna go back to the autosave real quick. I, I'm scum. Man, there's probably like an audio cue, right? And I probably missed it. Communist China as our enemy. Wow, thank you, US. God bless America. Yeah, okay, so they landed like 20 days ago. Okay. Yeah, there's probably like an audio cue. If only I played with audio on. The music in this game is a banger, but you know. I need to listen to my YouTube while playing Hoi 4, or else I'm gonna go insane. You, you, like, you know what happens when I go goblin mode. Like, when I go goblin mode, it's not a fun time for anyone. All right, perfect. Now, I thought the US was in the same faction of the UK, but no, I remember now, it's because they are in the people's front now. So now, what we can do is take their fleet. And I can get a Canadian puppet going as well. All right, so the world has changed quite a bit. As you can see now, I have Lithuanian Malaya and Lithuanian East Indies. Also not to mention the Lithuanian Raj, and of course the Socialist Republic of Great Britain, and my Canadian puppet, the Canada Popular State. I thought they, oh, so the game thought of that. Um, Oh, that's unfortunate. That would have been kind of funny if they weren't called in the war and I could just have a little place to put my troops. Ah, oh, paradox, you sneaky, sneaky foxes. You thought of that. All right, I guess we'll try to rush our army into there. How long until the United States starts walking into Canada? They're surprisingly not going in, which I appreciate. That's good. All right, our troops have arrived. I'm surprised they were letting us walk in. I appreciate it, though. If I had more tanks, this would be even better. Okay, now I know why the U.S. forces are stretched so thin. In. That is good for us. The worst fate about becoming one of my puppets is that you get the default focus tree forever now. You lose your entire identity. Alright, the US dies soon. This is probably like the average American's worst nightmare. Attacked by the communists, the Canadians, and the Mexicans all at once. This is like what your average Nebraskan like wakes up in a cold sweat to. Alright, United States. Why aren't they dead? Why, why isn't the war over? 
Who's the other major? It's Communist China. Man, uh, I, fighting the Axis would be very difficult. Oh, they have hella planes too. Way more than the Soviets. I don't know why the Soviets never built fucking planes. I don't know what's so hard about building planes. They're building up the border way faster than I am. I'd be fucked. Eight divisions per tile. They will break through me like I'm nothing. This is very dangerous. I'm gonna start my invasion of Germany once I get nukes because I do want to completely cripple their air force. Yeah, holy shit. They have every province garrisoned. Why do we not know where their airports are? Even if all this intel, we don't know where their airports are. All right. I'm not sure if we'll be able to win, but let's start justifying. And to be honest, I don't even think the nuke airport's gonna work that much because that that's a lot of planes. That is a copious amount of planes. And when I declare war right now, I don't think Poland's gonna join because I did a non-aggression pact with them. So let's declare war on Germany right away and call everybody in. Let us see how this goes. Okay, so we made a landing at a port here. Jesus Christ. Okay, I guess we'll disengage and then they'll probably disengage your planes as well. Okay, 300 planes. I think we can get that split second of air supremacy here. Yes. Okay, we have the split second. Wait, oh, we don't have 75. It's only green. Shit. Uh, uh please. 75? No, 73.5. 76 okay let's drop nuke there nuke there i'm pretty sure it's in this province I'm, i don't have that many nukes so i don't want to waste them now east germany is gonna blow up a bit and holstein okay i also need to blow up the one in holstein i have to wait for no more nukes to be completed and look at that now they're only down to 30.5k at the most what a big change we're probably gonna have like a bit of air supremacy for like a few seconds before they reinforce so let's take advantage of that okay we've captured berlin however we must do much much more france is holding which is pretty impressive actually i expected them to die immediately another way of getting rid of their airports other than nuking them is just to just take them for ourselves as long as poland doesn't join for the time being we should be on good track right now and i wish the soviet union would send to help here but they're clearly busy with some i don't know what they're busy with communist china maybe okay they're piling way too many planes i'm gonna disengage once again just gaslight them into thinking i'm not gonna use planes there again if we can grab denmark also i think we can trade steel because Damn, the steel ain't going well in our country right now. I have never stressed over like a, a war so much in my life and playing this game. I have to wait quite a bit for the next nuke. We just have to hold off until then. I really wish the Soviets would save me right now. Yeah, Poland joined. Ah, fuck. Yeah, this is kind of... Damn, we were doing pretty good here. So I reloaded a save. And this time Poland is joining the war immediately after the war starts. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did the timeline change? Is this is this my punishment? My eternal punishment from the from the fucking Satan himself? Probably. Well, this is not gonna happen this round then. I'll go to an even earlier save point. Alright, I'm gonna wait for more nukes to be ready. And I'm gonna declare war on Germany again. Okay, so I was gonna just finish the video there, you know, and then I went to eat a Popular succulent Chinese, Chinese meal. Oh. And then I thought of it. I thought of the stratagem in my plan, this genius plan. So we've established that if I reload a save, I'm basically guaranteed to go to war with Poland. Poland will inevitably join the war. So what if I just placed my troops on every victory point in Poland and capitulated them immediately? What if I did that? Huh? What, what would happen? What, 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 we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's declare war. Let's see what happens. Ah, interesting. Okay, so this time Poland doesn't join. Okay, they thought of that, probably. But this time, even if Poland joins later, we'll be ready. Wait, hold on. Wait a second, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I have I have a justify. Okay, so hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. So what if I just straight up just order 66 Germany? Huh? Who's gonna stop me? No one's gonna stop me. They don't have the balls to stop me. Who's gonna stop me? The UN? They don't even exist yet. Now we just wait for the war goal to be ready. And then Germany falls right? Let's see what happens. Will they call Germany? We'll see. Yeah, okay, so Poland, of course, joins the war because I declared on them, but Germany refrains from joining the war. We might be able to kill Poland on its own. If we can kill Poland on its own, we'll have an even bigger front on Germany. <laughs> Our chances of winning will skyrocket. Let's send this here army that was originally supposed to take Konisberg. Let's have this one invade Poland. And I have cores in Poland as well. Look at that manpower. Ah, Germany. You could just easily avoid this by joining the war. Why aren't you joining the war, bud? All right. Poland is done. Look at these cheap cores I can get. Oh, that's some good steel. We'll, we'll grab that as well. Can't I literally just kill Czechia? Germany does have to join 
because Bohemia is a puppet. Germany, <laughs> your days are numbered, bud. I don't know why I'm acting so high and mighty as if like I'm, I'm playing good. No, this is the, the biggest scummery I've ever done. Oh, interesting. So the Soviets are at war with Germany already somehow. Uh, some lore must have happened while I wasn't looking. Well, guys, we'd be rude not to join, right? So let's just... What? X fucking cues me? Huh? Did the game just actually do that? It, it tolerated my scummery no longer. That's a that's a thing, I guess. Fuck Hitler discovered teleportation technology. We're done for. Okay, since I'm a salty motherfucker that won't tolerate even a single loss in my entire life, I'm just gonna wait for my Bohemia strat. Do I not know what trains are? How do we not know what trains are? It's 1948. Can't we just ask someone to give us the blueprints to a train? I don't even know what section it's in. Germany has 50 days left. Imagine it just teleports my troops again. I will lose it. I will not be happy. I will not be a happy camper if that happens. What if they removed Order 66? I wouldn't know. I, I don't look at patch notes. I don't really keep up with the meta either. If you couldn't tell. All right. Now is the moment of truth. Let's declare war on bohemia oh yeah these best oh they removed it all right all right it is what it is then i guess we'll just attack germany the old-fashioned way we have no choice i'm fine with that i don't think they really have a chance i will join because of the equatorial socialist republic okay i'm getting tired of looking at this fucking unmoving front for like 10 billion minutes so we're gonna do a naval invasion haha <laughs> yeah the, because that that totally worked before this naval invasion will mostly be focused on taking the kiel canal just to reconnect myself with trade eventually with enough pressure germany will crack landing successful the kiel canal has been secured If we fumble it this time, I am going to have an... I, I've said that so many times in this video, probably. But I, I am actually gonna. Like, I, I feel it in my brain. I think it's time to pull off the coup de grace on Germany. After all the pain, I will kill them in the most excruciating way possible. The fate that they deserve most. Being para-dropped. What? It has 50 transport. Am I... Am I dumb? I'm missing something. I'm definitely missing something. Oh, it's because I had them on air so- Oh, I'm such a fucking dumbass. Holy shit. You know what? I blame Germany. They have ruined my brain. Okay, they should probably specify that also. It's my- It was my fault, don't get me wrong. But it's not entirely my fault. <laughs> Adieu, Germany. Adieu. Alright, well that's not the climax I was thinking of. That's embarrassing. That didn't end Germany off at all. Alright, so I have an ingenious plan to take Frankfurt. So, with the help of technology... Oh, poor Frankfurt. Why aren't we walking in? What was that for? Yes, please. Okay, we've taken Frankfurt. One more big city. Wait, can I just like... Did Wasn't Munich undefended? Well, all my pair droppers are dead. And I should probably wait. That should be over, right? Yeah, Germany's dead. And uh, I hid this from you guys. <laughs> I knew about this all along. I just didn't show it to you guys. Do you guys want to guess who the other major was? Yeah, it's China. <laughs> it's fucking China. It just had to be China. Now... I can get military access from Japan, so naval invading China really shouldn't be that complicated. China's not ready for the level of cooking I'm doing right now. Oh yeah, and while I'm gone, if my allies manage to make Germany come back, it's gonna be like a somehow Palpatine came back kind of thing. It's like, well, how the fuck did that happen? Why are my troops up there? when they should be down here? Oh, is it because no convoys? Yeah, that's probably why. We don't have convoys to get steel. And we don't have steel to make convoys. That that does make sense. Oh, that's right. I don't have convoys <laughs> for them to send me to convoys. Yeah, that's a good point. Finally have enough convoys for them to actually move through the sea. We still have a massive deficit though. Oh wow, it actually launched. These starving troops actually launched. I would have mutinied if I was in that army. A country that really shouldn't exist just invaded them out of the blue. All right, their divisions are kind of hot garbage. I appreciate that. A German troop defending China. I admire the dedication in a way to try to salvage this war this non-core manpower is probably insane right now yeah someone wants to buy my weapon yeah fair enough belgium probably don't even know what a weapon is this is such a good image look at that chinese seem to have finally found out that we're invading them so that is not good the only thing stopping me now is bad supply 
China, please don't make my suffering longer. Please don't defeat him. No, no. Just let me walk through the country, please. I beg. Yeah, I appreciate the non-core manpower, but come on. Does that mean that some of these troops getting trained are just Chinese? Germany, just don't prolong my suffering. I beg. Just... I'm gonna nuke your ass. Do not underestimate me. You bastards. I've already dropped the sun on you 10 times. What's an 11th? Huh? How's the push in the north going? Oh, not progressing at all? Fantastic. I'll check in on you in a few more years, yeah? Oh, it's over. Nice. France, Germany. And then I took China, you know, that's funny. And now communist China is fucking massive. Oh no, are they cores now? We should have taken them out first. Now all of this is fucking cores. Wait, are we not at war with them? What? Is there two communist- What? Sorry? <laughs> Let's just- Quickly kill communist China and divvy up the United States and then I can finally go to sleep. And they joined the fourth international, which makes sense. Yeah, well, this just, yeah, this faction's kind of, yeah, I, I hate the Siberia so much. Okay, I'll, I'll nuke, I'll nuke. I don't have the patience for this. Fuck it, we ball. We keep, we're just gonna nuke this place to shit. Human rights? What are those? Enough about human rights. Let's talk about human wrongs. All right, let's just walk into a room, G. Hopefully nobody interrupts us in three days my torment will be over oh god is good and i only have 25 percent for the u.s war too i feel so fucking cucked it's actually incredible uh i got jack shit for some reason i tried to give this to canada but it kept giving it to equatorial socialist republic so i wasted all of my war points and i'm actually crying and the communist states of america why the fuck did no one puppet this the lost potential is actually crazy and also why do we leave this why literally why anyways look at that wow the baltic socialist republic we actually we did it wow we took poland except for these parts but we took poland wow that's amazing <laughs> the whole world is communist now thanks thanks to us i think i think you can attribute around like five percent of the reason why the world is communist to us so that's good hope you enjoyed this one jesus christ this took long to make i already know this is gonna be a long ass video I, i'm sorry if it's very long and yeah, I forgot to say this in the last video. Thank you so much, you guys, for 7,000 subscribers. Uh, and I have a special something for you guys at 7,500. Anyways, uh, good night. I'm gonna go to sleep now and not cry because I succeeded as Lithuania somewhat. Yo, yo, hope you enjoyed that 50 fucking minute video. Holy shit, that's probably the longest, like, actually in-depth edited video I've ever made. Thank you to members, user1 underscore user1, Flame Man 1995 Organic Potato Thief, and Lars. You guys are the best. Thank you for waiting another long uh, week and a half for a new video. I know it took pretty long. Again, thank you guys so much for 7,000 subscribers. As I said, surprise at 7,500. If you see, like, other channels around my size, you probably kind of already know what it is. Um, uh, but yeah, thank you so much guys, and uh, I have to go sleep now. <laughs> I have finished this way too late. Goodbye.